Nice. Boob. More L4D, Bill Vibes. What up, everybody? It's Tyler from Valve News Network. How you doing? I am doing just fine. Um, I've been busy with a couple things behind the scenes. Um, there's a lot I want to talk about. There's a lot I want to um, discuss. There's a lot I want to go into before we really get going with, um, you know, before we really get going with the Half-Life Alex stuff. We're gonna be streaming Half-Life Alex here, probably within the hour. Uh, but before we go about, nice. yo, Reno's here. Reno with the 20 gift subs. Thanks, Reno. Um, do I look greasy? Nice. I'm sorry. I showered before I started. Um, so thanks, nice. Reno. Um, anyways, it's uh, 214. Nice. I, I got. Uh, I had Mallory, Electra's 16-year-old sister, attempt to cut my hair. Nice. It went as about as you'd expect. The back of my head looks fucking... fucking weird. Nice. I have a lot to talk about. I had a lot of interesting conversations with a lot of very interesting people over the last week. And I do, nice. um, want to talk about... Uh, is the Doom Eternal stuff too loud? I'll try and make it quieter. I just really nice. felt like listening to Doom music today. Um, I fucking love Doom Eternal. Um, I... Well, I'll show you. Nice. I'll show you. So I've been obsessed these last few days with uh, Doom Eternal. Um, I, I pub I've been publishing nice. screenshots and stuff to Steam. I don't know if anybody actually does this, but... Um, I was happy that I got all the... I fully upgraded nice. my suit in my one playthrough. And then I was super happy that this week's challenge event, I was able to get all of the nice. challenges and then finish up the Viva Las Vegas event. I unlocked everything in the Viva Las Vegas event. Um, nice. And I've been having so much fucking fun. I'll, I'll just launch the game real quick. Um, you don't look greasy. You never look greasy. This is the only thing you nice. look noted. No, somebody said greasy. So I don't know. Uh, we're at a hype train level five. That's fucking nuts. But Doom Eternal, I'm just, I'm so fucking... Nice excited about um it's kind of loud i'll turn it down but oh i got stuff okay nice. it finally gave me the stuff there was some weird stuff going on oh okay yeah it's um hold on nice. i know i know i already know frame rate i get it um that's because i need to limit the frame rate nice i have uncapped fps because my monitor is um uh, nice. 144 hertz, and it looks awesome. Um, this desktop background looks fucking garbage. Hold on, I'll pick a better nice. one. There you go. All right. Uh, let's just quickly open the control panel while I wait for these. Nice. 
fucking Sup, subs Tyler. to get through. Yo. Just wanted to say thanks for all the support you show for the Alex modding community. Hey, no problem. Also look out for my upcoming map breaking news, lol. Oh god. The map's called Breaking News. What's uh what's it about there, bud? What's the what's the breaking news map about? Alright, I wanna just show you do me some Doom Eternal stuff here for a second. Boop. Alright, I have to um set the thing. Yo! I hope you like my map. I'm sure I will. Will you stream one room? Today I'm we're gonna be doing that, yeah. We're gonna be playing a bunch of it. Welcome back to Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal was so much fucking fun. Right now, I am on a uh, Hurt Me Plenty playthrough. Alright, it's giving me my stuff finally, because when I completed the event, it didn't actually give me the stuff. And I don't know why it wasn't giving me the stuff, so... Um, yeah, uh, I got some... So I, 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 sh I asked for boosters on... Um, on Twitter, and I got two of them. Press R to claim boost. Hell yeah, got 270 XP. But I already... Oh, I can level up the characters? I don't understand. Oh, shit. I thought I completed it. You can level up the character set. So once you complete everything, you can level up the character set. Oh, shit. Okay, so I've, I've still got stuff to play. Um, anyways, yeah, so... Um, I've got the strip. Finally. And then I've got the King Mancubus. Finally. Hell yeah. Um, and then... I'm doing a Hurt Me Plenty 1-Up. Uh, playthrough because uh, I'm trying to go for all the achievements and I have 26 out of 33 achievements on this game and a lot of these are battle mode achievements actually all of them but one are battle mode achievements complete extra live mode with 10 extra lives in your inventory um, so I will yeah so I'm playing on a lower skill set so that I can you know because I have this done this is I'll show you I'll show you where I got with this this was a nightmare playthrough um, blah, 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 blah. um, we've got all of our weapons upgraded. We've got the suit finished. We got all the runes. Um, and all this unlocked. I'm missing one challenge in this level right here in Super Gore Nest. I, I only, I didn't finish this, but for some reason it gave me the achievement anyways. So, whatevs. And I also unlocked all the stuff in here, like in the uh, in the Fortress of Doom. We've got all the stuff. Um, got a bunch of skins, and yeah, I'm just having so much fun playing this game over and over and over and over again. I'm really, really enjoying my time in this game, and I I don't know why I love it so much. I just do. You know, we've got the Unmaker. You know, all that stuff. So good. So fucking good. I'm gonna be 100%ing Doom 2016 on Nightmare soon. Um, but I feel like if I go back to Doom 2016 right now, it'll suck. You know? Like, it's just too... So much slower of a game. So, yeah, that's one of the things I've been playing. I've also been playing a lot of Rage 2 lately. Which isn't great but it can be beautiful I, I was on i was around here and i was like oh damn this is kind of pretty it's okay it's kind of buggy and it gets kind of boring but you know whatever that's pretty all right and then i've also been playing a lot of uh vertigo remastered which i don't know if i'm allowed to show you anything because zach put me in some secret beta uh for some upcoming stuff so i don't know I don't know if I'll be able to show any of that, but we are going to be playing a whole bunch of Half-Life Alex today. The workshop's been blowing up. There's a lot of really cool stuff on the workshop, but I feel like the workshop itself isn't getting enough attention, and there's a lot of people leaving. And I, there's a lot I could say on that. Uh, it's partially Valve's fault, but there's just so much going on 
in virtual reality without Valve. Um, there's that whole Facebook thing going on, and I have just an, an immense amount of things to say about it. Um, and that brings me to uh, what we're gonna be doing. Ow, my eye, fuck. What we're gonna be trying to fight eye strain, but damn, ouch, that hurt. Um, so what we're gonna be doing here um, oh, yeah, and if nobody listens to the Voices of VR podcast, um, is my eye bleeding? No, okay. If you listen to the Voices of VR podcast, uh, you know, by Kent, Kent By, um, who well, is a lot older than I thought he was, damn. Really? I was in a video call with him the whole time, and you, if you had told me that he was in his mid-40s, I would have not believed you. Damn, that dude looks great for his age. Holy shit. So he let me record uh, my ends when we were playing, when we were talking to each other, right? Okay. And, you know, this was, if you listen to the podcast, this is the video part of it. Super dope-ass dude. Um, I do want to point out that when we were, we talked for a while, and, um, yeah, if you haven't heard, I, he invited me on the latest episode of the Voices of VR podcast, and, um, I guess I, our conversation, uh, inspired him to write just an insane amount of stuff. And right now we're collaborating on a video related to the history of the relationship between Facebook, Oculus, and Valve. What happened? Who did what? This podcast is about two hours long. Um, and I talk a fuck ton about what I know in relation to uh, Valve's relationship with Facebook. And... and um, uh, Valve's relation to Facebook and Oculus and all that in the light, uh, in the, in the, um, in the face of, I, wanna, I didn't want to say face twice because it's Facebook, but you'd say in the face of, um, you know, Facebook changing their, their, their entire, <laughs> just everything's changing, you know? Um, so, there's just a lot happening. This was a great talk. Uh, I'm getting a lot of, um, I'm getting a lot of, uh, feedback from this talk from people saying that, this was phenomenal and that I should be doing podcasts more often. And I took that to heart um, because I used to have a, I, I, I've, I've done like three different podcasts over the years. I've done uh, Letting Off Steam, I've done the Catch Up Podcast with JC, and then I did years ago the VNN Podcast, which, you know, was just like an interviewing excuse. So I had the idea of, well, fuck it, why don't we combine all of them? What if I, you know, recap the news myself on a podcast, like Catch Up? What if I take questions after a while, like letting off steam? And what if I can have guests with interviews, um, like the VNN Podcast from years ago, like back when I did the interview with uh, um, Ross Scott? And so we're relaunching Letting Off Steam, um, and myself and my graphics designers are figuring out the look of it. One of my guys pitched uh, a cool idea of the talk taking place in Russell's lab. Like, OG Letting Off Steam wasn't anywhere in particular, it was just the scout was sitting in the background, you know? Um, so. This time, this one has like, you know, this is Russell's lab with Russell's teacup. I forget, I, I think this was Never Trust a Cat did this one. Um, I always confuse them. We have a lot to talk about because we haven't really been um, streaming very much lately. Uh, because I've been working, this month I was focused on relaunching Nintendo News Network. And according to all known sources, uh, that relaunch went very, very well. People really, really like um, Nintendo News Network. Um, and it's funny because I've had some conversations with people that don't like Valve News Network, but absolutely adore what I'm doing with Valve News Network. I had a conversation yesterday 
with some stress level zero people and i was told that brandon from stress level zero never was a big fan of valve news network but absolutely adored specifically the zelda video i did and like talked about it for hours in the office so brandon jla is a big fan of um nintendo news network so is a lot of people a lot of people have come to me and been like that's your this is the right move you're doing the right thing this this is it um so anyways uh genie you know the guy who makes all my logos and stuff is pitching letting off steam to be themed around bendy and um all that stuff so you know um on top of that we also relaunched uh not relaunched we launched a bunch of new merch so it seemed like uh based on the sales that i i was tracking from crowdmade you know i can see who buys what and how many of what is bought and that kind of thing it seemed like the valve inside joke stuff was selling significantly better than any valve news network specific branded merchandise so myself and my graphics designers were talking about okay what other inside jokey merch that's legal to sell could we do as as like a line of valve news network products and we came up with a couple things and we launched some of them others are going to be launched as a limited time product soon because uh we're about to launch a sale uh but i'll show you here here's my crowd made store um we've got this dev textured mask you know like an orange box dev texture mask kind of thing and it says mask on it which i think is cute we have info players starts uh goatee <laughs> as a mask which my merch guy fucking loves uh that idea um we have this vnn mask here which no one's bought and then of course we have the the best seller uh the pink and black checkerboard missing texture mask um and then we also launched um, the info player start t-shirt um, which I love the design of absolutely love the design of of this shirt uh, contemplated not releasing this for a while talked to some people we pushed it out we've sold a few t-shirts do not sell as well as masks and stickers uh, we are we do sell an error sticker and um, it's doing all right um, however uh, I'll show you some in-dev designs that we're working on right now. So we're going to be launching an error mask, right? And we're, we're going back and forth on what the design's going to look like. We are going to launch an error mask of some sort. This is one of our working designs. If anybody has a better idea, I will buy a design from you. Um, and you can be brought in on the team if you prove yourself as a, as a, as a person that knows what they're doing. Uh, and we are going to be selling a sticker set. Obviously, you know, they threw up a Lambda. We're not going to be selling a Lambda sticker. Uh, but, uh, you know, we've got a missing texture. We got a dev texture, a missing texture, error. And then I was thinking, I don't know what the fourth one um, looks. But it's fun because uh, I'm talking to the crowdmade guy and we're going to be relaunching all of this as the sauce collection tee hee hee ha 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 get it get it the sauce collection the sauce collection do you get it um so yeah the sauce collection we're going to be doing a, uh, a big push for the sauce collection um anyway so there's that you know there's all the merch and all that um nintendo news network so i have a lot of different things going an error sign pattern that repeats would be good <laughs> All right, so I have a couple projects going at once. Um, there's this guy, Andrew Hoshalt. Um, that we actually interviewed uh, back in March. Well, um, you know, he's known for doing a bunch of music. Um, as it turns out, we had interviewed him back in March, and as it turns out that replacing Mick Gordon is Andrew Hushalt, Hushalt, um, for the Doom Eternal DLC stuff, which is fucking crazy because I had already recorded an interview with him. So Bethesda News Network will have the interview with Andrew from back in March published, and I am working on a Bethesda News Network video about the Doom Eternal DLC and future content. That is something that I am planning 
for Bethesda News Network. What other Bethesda News Network ideas? So right now what we're going to be doing is I'm just going to be showing you ideas that I have for content and I'd like to get your opinion on these ideas. I'd like to get um, your opinion on uh, what you'd like to see. Maybe I'm not coming up with a specific idea. Now that said, I am one man and I don't have time to do everything. However, having money allows me to, to kind of expand my reaches and do larger things. I'm not broke, but I'm close uh, because uh, ad rates are down, Patreon support is down, subscriptions are down, everything is down because people have less money. So if you have some extra money to throw around, it would really help a guy out if you could exclamation point donate in the chat and support. Uh, the projects that I do because there's a lot of cool work that I need to do that costs money And also I need to be able to support myself if I'm working on projects that don't necessarily make a significant chunk of change like anything that's not uh, Team Fortress 2 <laughs> Like Nintendo News Network surprised me with how much money it made right and proportionately it makes four times the amount that Valve News Network makes but it's still making significantly less yeah, don't give unless you don't have it. Don't give if you don't have, like, don't force yourself to give. Um, but uh, it would really help out with the production of stuff if I was able to, to fill this by the end of the stream today. Um, so uh, Bethesda News Network ideas that I'd like to finish. Uh, I have this list marked down as September possibilities, but I can't promise uh, that they will happen. But the Fallout 76, how did it happen video is something that I've been wanting to produce for a while. Um, and I have my final list over here of everything that I've wanted to do. Um, you know, and generally, like, there's not a whole lot that I'm, I, I feel comfortable doing right now. These three, I feel comfortable doing right now. But something like Deathloop ongoing reporting, there's nothing more to talk about. The Outer Worlds DLC reporting, I'd love to do a what? video on, but it's about here to happen. Go, Tyler, now show off my HLR map slow. We're going to. We're going to get to it. Thank you, Reno. Exclamation point donate in the chat. Um, thank you, Reno. I appreciate it. I would like to make more content on Prey. Uh, and something that I've been doing uh, is uh, cross promotion so like for example half likes prey uh will be the bnn uh, the bnn cross promotion so like part one part two on these different channels and at the end it'll be like check out part two on this channel uh but as for valve news network content um there's a big one that um it's called valve's unknown games including valve's unknown team fortress releases okay i'm going to talk about it and kuman you know what i'm about to talk about so valve nice can't donate right now but i hope this helps love half peeps thanks man um valve released uh two team fortress games in japan that nobody talks about original content original characters original weapons original con like concepts general um no one knows about it, but it's been out there since 2009. And we found it, and we found a build. So, um, let me show you. Uh, what does Anime Team Fortress 2 look like? What does Anime Team Fortress 2 look like? So, in Japan, in Japan, um, Valve has released some of their titles as arcade exclusives. People kind of already know about this to an extent with Half-Life 2 Survivor, uh, which was an arcade cabinet Half-Life 2 game with a lot of original content shoved in. Lesser known but still known uh, is Anime Left for Dead called uh, Left 4 Dead Survivor, uh, which is literally just Left 4 Dead, but all the characters and voice acting and everything are changed. So instead of the four survivors that you're aware of, uh, it's an anime schoolgirl and schoolboy, and then two gaijin male and female characters. Um, well, as it turns out, Taito uh, and Bandai Namco, the game, the, the companies that had the licenses with Valve milked those licenses for as long as they possibly could. 
And it became a trend in the late 2000s and early 2010s uh, to have what effectively are LAN party arcade setups, where they look like arcade cabinets that you stand on, stand in, stand in front of, excuse me. And, but you have like a mouse and like a keyboard equivalent. And it's like 10 or 16 of them in a room that you just like pop 100 yen coins into to play. Well, there's this unknown game that released in Japan under the Taito license, the same company that did, you know, uh, Survivor, Half-Life Survivor, Left 4 Dead Survivor called Cyber Diver. Cyber Diver seems on the face of it just like a random arcade shoot 'em up thing from Japan. It doesn't seem like anything in particular. It doesn't seem like anything that that we would be excited for or interested in. Um, but as it turns out, this is Team Fortress 2. This is Taito taking a beta version of Team Fortress 2 from 2006 and just reskinning everything. Everything looks different, but internally, it is just Team Fortress 2. Very little has changed. It's a Team Fortress 2 with a new coat of paint and a significant amount of new content. The kicker, so let's actually watch legitimate gameplay because you'll see very quickly. The animations are the same, by the way. Three, two, one, start! Obviously they're playing against bots that don't have nav meshes. Oh look, the Source Engine console. Yeah, um, well as it turns out... Um, I was able to get a hold of it. I have the build of Cyber Diver. So, so this is the game that you just saw. You go into Cyber Diver and it's set up like a Source Engine mod. You go into the Cyber Diver specific folder and it's nothing but Team Fortress 2 files. Um, now it's possible to start this game up. There's a lot going on with this. But as it turns out, there's a lot of these. Taito re-released almost every single one of Valve's IPs as an exclusive standalone arcade title. All of these arcade titles are x86-based PC builds. All of these arcade titles support Source Engine dedicated server. I was already able to play a game of Cyber Diver online with other people, like it's just a normal thing. Um, so, Valve's Unknown Releases is a series of videos that I want to work on. Here's one. This is an arcade game from Japan. Called Neo. Neo no Shori!
This is different from CS Online, by the way. Completely different company, completely different build. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot. Nice. Yeah. So, one of the things I'm doing is you've got Team Fortress, CS. There's multiples of each of these. So, Cyber Diver became a series in Japan. There are multiple Cyber Diver games, but they're just Team Fortress 2. Um, there is no Portal one that I found just yet, but seeing as how these just use random weird anime titles, there probably what? is one. Been watching since like 2015 and Hell I'm yeah. finally donating for the first time. Super proud of all your work and dedication all these years, Tyler. Best wishes to you and the family. Thank you. So check this one out. ゾンビになっちゃうウイルスが流行してるんだよね。どうせはいいんだ。多様さが浮かばねえな。子供の頃に、いや、去年でいいから戻りたいや。生き残りたいなら協力しようぜ。私なんて戦える。この街からは無事
uh, we're going to offer subs and dubs the way it works. Uh, you can have subs or dubs and play with people with subs or dubs regardless. So if you play with subs, you could play with a person with dubs. It doesn't matter. But we're going to be doing a sub and a dub um, of these Japanese exclusive Valve titles. My life is fucking strange, and they're gonna, I know these videos are going to make their money back regardless of how much voice acting costs. Um, exclamation point! Donate in the chat, guys! If you want to see this stuff done right, please! This shit is expensive! Um, but yeah, so... You know, I wanted to tell you about my big project for this month because it, it's going to be expensive. Um, yeah, so the Japanese, the Valve, the exclusive Japanese only Valve games. That's that's a big project that I'm doing this month. Um, anyways, I think that's enough talking about plans. Let's play some VR. I haven't streamed VR in quite a while now. And uh, let's get back to it, you know? Um, let's check a couple things here. Doop, doop, doop. What? What? Here, take my $3. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's very nice of you. I've got to set up the VR. It's going to take a minute. Wonder if he's going to play my mod. Of course, Bush Baby, but Bush Baby's expensive, you know? Like, I want to pay him well, and I know he's hurting for money, but kind of me too, you know? We're all hurting for money, you know? Fucking, like, this, like, like, you know... Corona fucked us over. Corona fucked everybody over. And even people like me that work from home. Creators are kind of getting fucked over because we're make I'm making significantly less than I normally do. And it's hard to be able to, um, you know. It's hard to be able to predict that kind of stuff. So, exclamation point, donate the chat. Really help me out. Appreciate it, if you could. Um... Alrighty then, so we've got VR set here. I'm gonna turn the Elgato off in favor of, we're gonna do game capture. Boop, boop. Looking for a game to capture, that's fine. Uh, and then I gotta make sure the audio is set up properly. I've been, t I've been teasing around with uh, a couple different audio solutions. Today, we're not gonna be doing anything too um, crazy. We're just gonna be, you know, um, we're just going to be doing a few general things. So we've got the, the Valve HMD mic turned on. Ah! Yeah, okay. And of course we've got the Yeti, and things get broadcast back through the Yeti, so that works. Let's check that again. Audio broadcast, audio mirroring. Yep. All right. All right. So we're going to close anything that is unnecessary. We're going to close iTunes and that and that stays open that stays open we don't need all these google tabs open right now um yep what yo what what where's alert box oh it's over top thank you broken malware let's get that donation goal thank you help a boy out and then, of course, we've got a lot of uh, creators.tf stuff going. Like, I have a lot of stuff in development. And like I said on Twitter earlier, um, there's so much in development, but a, a lot of it is very early in production. So I have, like, a hundred different things going, but very few of them um, are close to completion. So I am going to be doing a fundraising stream uh, for Bush Baby soon because I know he's hurting, and I just want to be able to raise money for him but that's not today uh i want him on the stream that i'm raising the funds for uh for him all right um yeah okay so looking for a game to capture i'm just gonna start half-life alex so that it has it to capture let's see if it, it quickly picks it um looking for a game to capture looking for a game to capture there it goes, cool. 
Um, it's gonna be, the audio is gonna be kind of fucked, so. Who says what in your donation alert? That's new Alex Vance. All right. I know we don't stream VR enough. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? I need to make sure that I can see the chat in VR, um, so it's gonna take me a minute to um, fuck around with it enough uh, so that that can work perfectly, work properly. All right, give me a second. I'm sorry, I know I should do all the, um, the setup stuff before I start. Um, but, you know, I don't. Alrighty. So. Alright, we're gonna turn our performance down to low. Alright, hold on. Toggle edit mode. I just gotta set it up so that I can see the, um... Mm-hmm. It needs, I need to attach it. This is always so annoying. What? What? Keep up your awesome content Yo. loving the new NNM. Doert, Doert, thank you. All right, hold on. I want it to be like that. And then hide when not looking, hide past a distance. Like that. All right. Okay, so um, we've got a bunch of add-ons installed right now. You guys can hear me just fine, right? Hey, you gonna play Borderlands 3 with me? I'm not a big Borderlands fan. So I downloaded Map Labs and it just comes with a bunch of individual maps, right? So, Um, how do I know which one is Map Labs? Let me just check real quick, make sure I had it right. Yeah, because very few of these are actually listed as map labs is the problem. So, you know. Unless I don't have it installed properly. They all have a shared thumbnail. Oh, okay. So I guess I'll just enable... All the... Maps. I hate their implementation of this shit. 
All right. All right. Uh, first one we're gonna do is bunker instability. We're gonna play on normal. All right. Bunker instability. Oh, it crashed. It crashed. Because I had too many of them enabled at once. Oh, no, fix your shit. They honestly don't care. They did they did this shit as just like a like a hand waving, like, okay, fine. And they didn't even fucking try. Alright, so I have to disable all of them. I gotta do it one at a time. I do like how Vault Maps had it as like one playable entity where you would go back to the map selection room. I think they did a great job with that. Okay. All right. Bunker instability. All right, the bunker. Objectives, restore power, and then exit. All right, let's do it. Ooh. Oh, this is a pretty map. Damn, this is a good looking map. All right. Very, um, it's giving me like episode two vibes. All right. All right, so this is where people sleep. Oh, there's a button. Oh, it's probably not gonna work because I need to restore the power. Ooh, that's a nice button. That's a surprisingly good button. Okay, cool. Oh, we've got a, can I turn this one? No. Okay. So this is Map Lab's one room. The goal here is that there, you know, each of these maps need to be one, one room. So low power, turn on mains. Okay. Let's push this. Oh. Okay. Fuck off. That's fine. Got a turret. Okay. No, it's part of the prop. Wow. This is a really well thought out little bunker. This is. That button needs to be aligned, okay. Very nice map. Just in terms of looks. And I'm sure a lot of these are, are gonna be very based around looks because, you know, it's, it's the first map labs for this, people are getting used to it. There's no glass here. Oh, is there? No, I can't move it either. These, these, these are empty. Okay. So, oh, I have, okay. I thought maybe I was looking for it. That was, that was my mistake. Oh, this whole, I bet this whole area. No, shut up. This whole room is full of toner puzzles. Oh. Whoa. What happened there? Oh, damn, nice. I like that. Oh, I get it. That was, That's neat. Okay. Oh, dope. Okay, cool. So... Oh shit, what the hell? What is this? Do these work? Oh, I thought there was like a weird puzzle going on here. Does this one work? No. Does this work? Ha, <laughs> neat. Boot computer system. Did 
They do work. Tyler, they work. They work. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so these, how do, how do you get them to, oh, you pull this? Oh! Neat. Well then, how do I know? Well, it's gotta be, oh, whoa. Okay, maybe, wait, no. So this is, is this the computer system? I haven't gone up here yet. This is a nice map. You're using a lot of really good environmental techniques just for just atmosphere. Oh, I didn't check these. Oh, there's so many drawers. Seeing as how all the lockers were empty, I'm gonna just take a guess and say that those are all gonna be empty too. All right, target value 100. What do these do? 16, 20, 16, 20, 52. This is weird. 36, 56, 54, 50. I don't understand the Russian alphabet. Uh, wait, 18, what? Oh, 82, 86, 82, no. Oh, whoa. Fault detected drawer hyd door hydraulics. Okay, how do I get the, can I, oh. No, that adds to it. Okay. Door hydraulics. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Eh. That's cool. Does it work now? What, can I leave? Oh. Ah! Oh, scared the shit out of me. Oh, that was a Dr. Dawsey map. Of course it ended up being good. Jesus Christ. Alrighty, next one. Terminal surveillance. This one's actually called Apartments. That's a good map. I have a feeling these are all kind of quick because they're one rooms, you know? But we'll see. Subject name unknown, age 20, female, affiliation none, current assignment, defense, security, repair. Oh, I'm not gonna, no, I won't skip the intro, but there's an option too. Terminal, surveillance. Oh, well, that's too bad. All right. Lighting's pretty good. We've got some environmental sounds. That's pretty good. All right. Oh, damn, I'm really high up. Wait, it's there's water out there. What the hell? Is it flooded down there? How did you do water? Oh wait, no, is that heat? Never mind. No one's saying nothing. All right, that does nothing. You always love it when they put the overwatch. So this is that map labs flask, huh? All right. Uh, 
TV and a... Oh, nice. Okay. Give me grenades, making me feel like I'm gonna have to fight. This is weird. Okay. Arm trip mine. Warning. One time. Oh, I get it. Really? Okay. <laughs> do this. I'm sick of this. <laughs> to do restock freezer. Obviously, we did that. Rewrite, rewire monitors. That's yet to be done. So that must. Oh, I don't have my hacking tool. Oh shit, what the hell? Wow. For some reason, the batteries with the barriers the CPs are installing are connected to old pipe systems. So I wired them up to pipes at my desk and installed the lower power arming switches. The generator cabling better not break again, but wall power gotta be wall power, I guess. I swear, I'm sick of the monitors going offline. For some reason, it upped the wiring. It fucks up the wire. Oh, they, they censored themselves. It fucks up the wiring when they lose power. If there's no... Uh, if there's no so zen infestation... If there's no zen infestation in this block, then what infestation control... What's infestation control doing here? As if the CPs alone weren't enough... I'm starting to think we might, we might be the infestation. Damn, we got lore. Can I open this? Yeah, there's my hacking tool. Ah, oh, come on. All right. And then his to-do list over here you know, he restocked the freezer, obviously. Rewire monitors, hide grenades, figure out what the hell is wrong with the goddamn generator, store all of your tools in the crate like a civilized person, uh, replace leads at apartment 12, maybe the 18th floor. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. Where's the power source here? Is it over here? Do I have to activate the power somehow? I can't go that... Oh, so there's the trip mine. Not waste any power here. Damn, what the hell? So that one... Well, wait, what? Really going nuts with this, huh? Hold on. There's a lot of different generators here. Well, I'm... Hmm. How do I get it to connect? Oh, like that. Okay, so then... That goes there. Oh, okay. Must have... Did that. I can't reach that. Okay, so... This is where it comes from. Where is it going? Oh, it's up there. Okay. It's a nice little setup they have, though. All right, so then... Okay. Must have uh, did something good, right? Cool. 
Wait, what is it? Apartment, showers, dining room. What? Alright, so... Um, got that done. Oh, wait, no. I did this. Still have to do this. Okay. Wait, I can draw on the wood? What? Alright, um... Well, that's not doing anything. Figure out what the hell is wrong with the monitors. Oh, wait. Didn't I have to rewire these as well? Oh, that's right. I thought I was done. I ain't. But then where is their power coming from? What? Where is their power coming from? Must... Well... It's coming up from this cable, but then that comes from outside, and I can't go out there. So... Like... Throw the switch. There's a switch? You mean... Oh, that's what this is for! I was wondering if they wanted me to stand up on something. All right. What the hell is the point then? Oh, then I go, what? <laughs> Barrier controls. Whoa. Grenade arming shoots. Oh. Will compromise damage. Whoa. Okay. That's nuts. Oh! What's happening? What's going on? Showers. What? 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 I have so many to get through. How is the audio of the stream? Can you guys, like, hear me fine? Alright, so that was that one. Victory Mine. Audio balance is good, so you can hear me just fine. All right. Victory mine. Nice. So we episode two now then, huh? Oh, what's that? Okay. Oh. Damn, this is 
beautiful. Four shelf left. Okay. Yeah, so that's the elevator. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's not an episode two throwback without three more. Is it over? It must be, I guess. Oh no. Oh no. Shoot. Oh no. Gotta have something on him, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> All right, so I have a combine battery. Um, man, a lot of these maps are gorgeous. Where do I... Oh, shit, look, I didn't see this. Hold on. Whoop. What's over there? Oh, jackhammer, okay. Oh, wrong. Yeah, here. I'm gonna stay up here, keep the high ground when something obviously goes wrong. Too good to be true, too good to be true. Let's uh, go. All right. Okay. All right, did I win? Did I win? Is there more? Oh damn, there looks to be more, okay. Oh. Will I get to see outside? Wow. This is a very nice looking map. Oh, look, there looks to be something. Huh. Oh, what's that? Damn, sense of scale in this is very nice. Oh boy. I have a little fear of heights and this is, this is nuts. Giving me more ammo, so I'm obviously gonna be fighting. Probably combine, right? Ooh, some vertigo. Okay. Oh, okay. This is neat. Oh, they fall. I got it. Okay. All right. So that's what that was for. Nothing over there. All right. And then this would be the end of the map, right? Yeah. That is a good one. I liked that one a lot. That was cool. Next one. The next one is Elevator 2. Elevator 2. Remember, guys, exclamation point donate in the chat if you want to be able to support me and what I do. Appreciate it. <sighs> yep. I'm in an elevator. Actually, I'm in the sequel to an elevator. Oh. All right. Do it, I dare you. Oh, you know. Oh, I can't leave. Oh. What? What the hell? Oh, I get it. Okay. I'm definitely gonna have to replay this one. Really taking the one room concept and kind of cheating, huh? Three left. Last four shells. Two shells left. Alrighty. Um, am I missing anything? This is a cool map. Wow. Okay. 
keep that piano music playing. Seriously, keep the piano music playing. One. Hey, here. Ah! Oh, hit crap! Hit crap! Don't you fight! Oh, thank God. I'm okay. I'm okay. It was on your face and it, oh, it was disgusting. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think you should keep the piano music playing for the whole thing. <sighs> wow, this is neat. One left. You gotta love it when you see it. No more mags. Last two. Gonna appreciate it for a minute. Do I? Yeah, okay. Dope. Neat. Oh, did I not collect one though? Oh, I can see out the. Okay. Oh! That's fun. That's really, that's clever as fuck. Holy shit. What? What? Epilepsy warning for the end of the map. Oh, okay. Epilepsy warning for the end of the map. Thanks for the three. Exclamation point. Donate in chat. to collect in there. This is one that I'd want to play again, but we have a lot to get through. shiny oh um alex alex sorry i broke your shit
Oh boy. I'm out. I'll tell you that. Okay, so something happens here, I guess. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wait. Three left. fucking cool. Go play it. Moving on. Alright, next we've got... Depot. Mm, mm, mm. All right, this one's called Depot. Ooh. Huh. It's a train depot of some sort. We have very faint sounds. Always good to see. I don't get that can, okay. All right, a lot of resin. Okay, a lot of people in the face of these one rooms are using those. No. Huh, okay. This plant wanted to grow so bad. Good for you, dude. All right, is there anything? Anything out there? No. I don't understand the purpose of this map just yet, but we are finding lots of resin. So that's good. Oh, just ran into my chair in real life. Okay. Should have moved that outside the room. Um, is there anything in here? You can usually tell if you need to go into a room if you see something you can interact with, but I think that's just set dressing. I flipped that switch and I'm not sure. Whoa. What am I locking onto? Oh, okay. Tied. Pretty sure this one has no end. You sure? There's this. I just gotta find one of them. Okay. You gotta find a crank. Crank wheel. That's probably what's outside, isn't it? But there's all these windows, so let's go all the way over here. Hmm, maybe not.
There's no gameplay here. Oh, okay. Move it on. You guys can calm the hell down, don't you think? You can uh, calm the hell down. Oh, I'm turning this car around. All right. Next one. That was Depot. Oh. This one's called Stacecade. 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 <laughs> I like that rock right there. Hi, and welcome to the Stacecade. Trademark. What? Your what? perfect way to kill time. We have three great games available for you. Before we start, we only have one rule you need to remember. If you win, you get to leave. And if you lose, you die. <laughs> well, have fun. The three games you can select are... Badline Anarchy. Anarchy. Radical Russell! <laughs> Cash Kite Quick Draw! What? This one needs some sounds, don't you think? You selected Badline Anarchy, a thrilling top-down survival game where you play as Plaslo, a statue based on the greatest rebel strategist that has ever lived. Oh, whoa, in I'm in a game, box. You must collect okay. oil drums while avoiding ant lions, grab grubs to regain health, and beat the high score to win. Ant lion anarchy. What the fuck is this? Well done. Yeah. Good job. Good job. feeling that I'm playing an arcade game, which is yeah. super strange. Yeah! Great job! Yeah. Oh, we got blue spinners now. Wow, that's creative! Great job. Oh. Wow, this is really creative. Great job! Great job. Oh, ouch. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, that's just a model. Okay. Okay, next one. You selected... Rat 
Radical Russell! One of my favorites. This is the game where you collect vodka balls, you avoid pits, and jump on enemies. And please make it to the end. Have fun. Radical Russell 2. Great job. Yeah. Oh man. This is so dumb. Checkpoint. Good job. Good job. I died. I'd like to know how the fuck this works. Yeah. Checkpoint. Boss incoming. It's Radical Jeff. Look out. Oh no. Boss incoming. It's Radical Jeff. What the? Oh no. Wait, that counts? Wait a minute, what? Too oh. bad. Damn. Too bad. Okay, go. It's, I, I know I have to like pass them at a specific time, but it's like how to. Oh, I, I had it. Oh. Got it. Congratulations. Yeah. You win. You are radical. I know. Congrats. You're just as radical as Russell. I know. Head crab and a top hat. A, a fish. You got John Oliver. You selected Cascade Quick Draw. Cascade Quick Draw is where you must shoot the targets in the time given. Watch your fire, though, as Russell is wandering in these parts. Beat the high score to win. Howdy there, partner. <laughs> Welcome to Cascade Quick Draw. What a killer. Oh, you got me. What a killer. Oh, you got me. What a oh, you got me. What a killer. Oh, you got me. Ah, oh, what a oh, you got me. This is so dumb. Oh, you got me. What a killer. 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 Oh, what a killer. Oh, what a killer. Oh, what a killer. Oh, you got me. What? Oh, you got me. Ah. What a killer. Oh, you got me. Ah. What a killer. Oh, what a killer. Oh, what a killer. Oh, what a killer. Oh, what a killer. Sorry. I was just reading a book on how great of a shooter you are. <laughs> Damn! You must be the slickest shooter there is in this here town. Congratulations! You've won every game! Now claim your prize and please get out of here. Your prize is a cake, now get out of here. Okay. Am I doing something wrong? It's time to stop playing games, Miss Vance. Oh. Alright. That one was weird. 
comfort and utility. What a killer. Okay. I need to find all the resin. <laughs> nice touch. Oh boy, Tyler gets to do his... You didn't port in the hula girl, did you? There's no resin in the hacking thing. Oh, okay, good. So, did I find it all? Nice. What up? Knuckles. Well, thank you, I guess. Did I find all the... Just rotate the ball. Okay. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, what do I get? <sighs> I need a I need a key card. Where is that? Do I ha can I do this now? Because I have no. Okay, must be missing something. Uh, I mean, it's cool. I'm in Kleiner's lab. That's neat. But like, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. You know? Okay, maybe. There's a couple in the drawers at the computer. Unless you mean over there. You can't open those drawers. I have 14, so you're telling me there's a 15th resin. All right. Maybe one up top. Oof. Yeah, I mean, I found one up top already, unless there's multiples up here. Fourteen resin, you have everything you can leave. Okay, but there's no...
Like there's no key card, I just open the door. Yep, okay. Hey. Hmm, kind of dumb map. Did we just crash? Huh. Yeah, okay. Not my favorite map. All right, next one. That one was comfort and unity. Next is atrium. Remember guys, exclamation point donate in the chat, exclamation point trade in the chat, exclamation point wish in the chat. Did I finish victory mine? Yes. Really helped me out. Thank you guys. Two eggs left. Oh, shit. Oh, we're in a mall. We're in like a like a condemned shopping mall. Oh, hello. Last three. Come at me. Oh. Resin, resin. <laughs> oh, hello. Give me my hand back. Give me my hand back. Thank you. What's going on? I'm I'm drifting. It's an office, but you can call it a mall. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. How many? I got four. All right. Oh, shoot. Anything in there? Left. Did you vomit anything up? No. Why would you not ever have Alex installed? I know, right? Like, I took a break from this game for like three weeks and I didn't touch it. I didn't uninstall it. <laughs> Is that random, like the deciding factor between if the head crap lives or dies? Oh, let me move! Jeez! Last mag. Okay, I'm having some really bad tracking drift. Alright, well. Is this really one room, though? There's a combine shield blocking your path. I'll figure out how to shut it down. Oh, really? There is? I couldn't tell. Jesus, Russell, shut up sometimes. All right, we're gonna explore here for a second. Oh, how am I, really? Neat. All right, why would I want to go over here? 
Oh. For a pinned ragdoll. Oh, I love pinned ragdolls. Valve, thank you so much. I'm really trying to find resin. Ooh, I like these. Jesus, all right. Oh boy. All right. Ah, fuck, I hate these. Worst thing Valve has done in so long. and breaking bad cool i'm not watch barry though that barry's good This is cool. Is there anything else? All right. When the hell is season three? Uh, of Barry, they were gonna film it uh, in April, but then Corona happened. Oh, okay, I guess I go this way. Why can't I wear those? I want to wear those. Hey, over here. Come at me, come on. Come on. Told you nothing bad would happen. Bastard. Come on. There you go. That took way too long. Come on, come on. Oh, missed those shots. <sighs> That didn't kill the head crab. If you look down, he's still down there. This is a neat map. You need, uh, like always, I'm gonna complain. No ambient sounds whatsoever. The world isn't silent. So your map shouldn't be either.
Alex, it's your lucky day. That combine weapon's unbonded. How are you sure? It's still in the case. They never leave them in the case. Nice. I didn't even need to edit your genetic code. I know. You would love that. That's okay. There'll be a next time. Where's it at? Yeah, your chair. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Whoa, this is something. What the fuck? Oh, we're doing this. Okay. What the fuck, though? Um, I'm, uh, no. Mm -mm, that's okay. Unless I have to, and get the fucking combine battery out of there. <sighs> okay. Jesus Christ. <sighs> this is fucking stupid. I, I don't, I don't want to do this. Okay, and then... That. Uh, all right. So dumb. And then that, yeah, okay.
Bravo. My uh, way out is shut. Um, okay, can I drop down? Oh yeah, I can, all right. Man, this guy, whoever made this, really likes toner puzzles. How many of these are, oh, just one? What? Okay. Give my hand back. Come on. Man, they can't handle double doors. All right. Good job. Decent map. Kind of. What the hell is the Vor map? There's a Vor map, like the like the fetish. Why does Vor get all the cool? Why does the Vor fetish get all the cool shit? Why can't none fetishes get the cool shit? Wonderful weather we're having. That was a great map. Oh, did I get that? Did I do all of them? No, okay. anyway yeah I think I recognize it we used to use this place as a hideout looks like the power's still on that's a surprise let's see hidden in the back there should Whoa. are you seeing this oh wow that's a lot of zombies at least they're pretty quiet maybe you can tiptoe through and find your way to the back oh they're gross Pretty neat mix and voice acting like that. I hope somebody takes my idea and uses Alex from Grounded or the, the actress from Grounded because she like it's the same voice. Oh, 
Wow, buckets. So that's that one. Oh, in my limit, been streaming for like two hours. I'm hungry. All right, which one was that? Guns and butter. Alone and sur one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six left. I will do those at a later date. Ooh. All right, everybody. That was fun. Um, I really got to build up my ability to play for longer stretches of time. Um, but uh, we're going to probably continue this tomorrow. I hope I see you guys uh, here tomorrow. And um, yeah. Love you guys. Peace and hair grease. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. The raid phrase is, I'm going to give Japanese bush baby money, and then all of you should give Japanese bush baby some money.